Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are reading Leviticus chapter 3. This chapter deals about the peace offering. As we go through this and meditate on this chapter, may the Lord help us, help us and speak to each one of our hearts and minds. When choosing an animal for the peace offering, God instructed the people to choose one without spot or defect. Essentially, it had to have nothing wrong with it. As a person brought it to the meeting tent, they were to kill it and hand it over to the priest. The priest would then take blood from the animal and splash it on four sides of the altar. After that, the priest was to take the fat and some of the muscles and organs from the sacrifice. These would be placed on the altar as a burnt offering. The instructions for offering lambs and goats are also discussed in this chapter. God said that a male or female from these animals could be used as sacrifice. However, the animal had to be perfect specimens and specific rules were to be followed for each animal. The person who was doing the offering had to place their hands upon the animal's head to kill it outside the meeting tent. The holy priests were then to use the blood of the sacrifice to clean or anoint the altar. Afterwards, the priest had to cut the tail of the animal along with some of the organs. The tail would be offered to the, to the Lord in the burnt offering. This chapter concludes with the final instruction from God. He said that all generations should follow this rule and never eat the fat or blood of an animal again. Some of the points in the peace offering is listed here. We can go through one by one. The offering itself, the duties of the offerer, the duties of the priest, distribution of the offering. The finished work of Christ in relation to the believer is seen in this peace offering. The Lord Jesus Christ is our peace, having made peace through the blood of his cross. He preached this peace to those who are far off and to those who are near, thus breaking down the middle wall of partition between Jew and Gentile. In Christ, God and the sinner meet in peace. The enmity that was ours is gone. God is propitiated. The sinner is reconciled. And both alike are satisfied with Christ and with what he has done. The next point we see without defect. The repeated instruction for the sacrifice without defect challenged the giver to consider what best honored God reflecting a sincere and reverent sacrifice of worship. When God graced the world with a savior, he gave us the best. His own son, Lord Jesus Christ, is perfect in every way. In him there is no evil or weakness or fault or flaw. Our redemption has been accomplished through Jesus Christ who is precious, a lamb without blemish or defect. The quality of God's offering on cross shows his great love for people and confirms that only Jesus who never sinned could be sufficient sacrifice. Jesus Christ is worthy and without defect. Faith in him reconciles us to the Lord, making us also holy and without blemish, fully acceptable to God. Dear beloved, let's be thankful to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who was our perfect sacrifice and be made on behalf of us. May the Lord bless you short meditation in the edification of our spiritual lives and continue to speak through the book of Leviticus. Amen.